Immigrant youth. Have you heard about President Trump's plan to deport unauthorized immigrants? If you haven't, I am here to talk about my side of this very controversial topic. Can you imagine being ripped away from your family and sent back to a land that you tried so very hard to escape from, whether to escape poverty, devastation from natural disasters, and possibly war? I can't, but I feel such pity for those who do. There is a program called DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, a, a program started by former President Barack Obama in 2012 to allow illegal immigrants to be protected from immediate deportation. This program is designed to help illegal immigrants have a pass to remain in the United States for up to two years, allowing them to eventually get a work permit. According to Pew Research Center Fact Tank 2017, there are approximately 800,000 young unauthorized immigrants who have received work, uh, work permits and protection from deportation through the DACA program. Of that number, 110,000 are no longer enrolled and 70,000 former recipients did not renew or denied benefits. As for the children, I can understand what they are going through because I'm a child, and I personally know children that could be affected by this. A close friend of mine could possibly be affected by this law. She told me that she is afraid to be deported because, and doesn't want to leave her family behind. I am thinking the same thing. There's a woman that shares the same thoughts and concerns that I have about youth deportation. She has a first-hand experience of what happens to kids when they get sent back. Luce Vega McKees states, for the young people made vulnerable by the decision to terminate DACA, many of whom remember no country but America, deportation would be tragic. I agree with this statement because these children do not know what they're walking into when they go back. She also mentions that she couldn't imagine what it would be like to be thrusted into an unfamiliar environment and perhaps not even speaking the language. Like Luz Vega or Mekis, I, I also cannot imagine the terror and uncertainty that these children must feel. These immigrant youth and families may be sent back to their native country even after they have already began a new life here in the United States. Immigrant youth, also called dreamers, have been fighting for their rights by protesting, organizing, and speaking out in public. Now ask yourself this, do we really wanna take away these people's loved ones? and leave them with nothing? If you're like me, we need to help find ways to s help the immigrant youth stay here and remain in the United States and continue to be one of us. Thank you.